Do you wear pajamas to bed? No. No, 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 no. no. Underwear, t-shirt. Most of the time, uh, if I'm I'm, I'm traveling and I'm staying at family members' houses, I will wear an assemblance of pajamas, but it's usually sweats and a t-shirt. I don't have a set of pajamas. Yeah, no, no. Let's just talk about it at home. Um, 16% of people said they would wear their pajamas uh, out and about, like to go to the store and grab something. <clears throat> which I think is crazy, but you know what? No, I don't think it's crazy. I live in North County. It happens all the time. You see it a That's lot about the number. Yes. Well, now, if you go to Walmart, you see it more. What, Walmart love the people at Walmart love going in their pajamas. I don't know why. Somebody told me that they go home and they put on their pajamas right away. All right, a friend of mine, and I said, "Oh, okay, yeah, I do that too." And they're, "Oh, what kind of pajamas do you have?" I said, "Oh, it's just a pair of Adidas basketball shorts and a t-shirt." They're like, "That's not pajamas." I go, "Well, is it is if I sleep in it." Is then this a guy that is telling you, this? yeah. Because I can see women doing that. Yeah. Because uh, women have comfy, comfy PJs. Well, men women wear comfy... PJs. I don't yeah. think men wear PJs, right? Oh, no. Except for this friend of mine who's maybe half female. PJs? Um, yeah, pajamas. PJs. Is, he Hugh Huff, is, he, is your friend Hugh Hefner? Oh, no, wait, no. You never call him PJs? We always call him PJs at our house. No, no. I'm just saying that it's like, like your friend goes home and puts his PJs on yeah. immediately. That's weird behavior. Well, I mean, like, I, go I don't home... even take off my shoes because there's a chance I might have to go outside between until like. Nine o'clock at night. Oh, you don't have a shoes off policy at your house? As no, no. soon as we're yeah in the front door, no, shoes that. go in the hall closet. Can't stand that. Um, because then if you have to go outside, you have to go put your shoes. Well, back it, on. But if you wear, yeah, well, I I have like fl- uh, they're not they're kind of like flip flops, but they're not flip flops. They're the kind you just put your feet in. There's no middle thing for your toe. What are those, what are those called? Sandals. Sandals. Yes, I wear those to go outside to take the dog out or whatever. But, but yeah, what I come home to- and I put on basketball shorts or you know they're Adidas shorts and a t shirt and those that's what I sleep in. And that's what I put on as soon as I get home, and it's so comfortable. I recommend you trying it, even if you have kids. And, you know, I have a dog. I take him out potty, and we go outside and play. But and I come back in, and it's like I'm, I'm so comfortable. If you have a shoes off policy at your house, how come I've never had to take my shoes off? Uh, we don't enforce it with guests. We just we do it ourselves. We don't have a lot of Thank guests. Thank you. So. There's nothing more I hate no, it's very than un- going to somebody's house and, having to take your and shoes then off. them saying, I'm sorry, we take our shoes off in our house. But because, because I do it at my house, it's the first thing I do. I'll walk in and I'll see what the person does. If they're not wearing shoes, I just take them off. I don't even ask. Because the last thing I want to do is be no, wearing shoes in somebody's We're house. Visiting people. But you just walk in, I look at their feet. You look at their feet right away. That's just how I was raised. I mean, I don't know. We didn't no, wear I shoes in our you house. I respect people's rules at their house. I understand that. And I'm not opposed to that. Depending, but then all, no. all again though, it's like if not everybody's comfortable taking off their shoes. Like you don't know what I've been doing for the last few hours before I've come to your house. My wife judges you though. If I don't take off yeah, the shoes, yeah, she's like Jeff didn't take his shoes off. Well, I'm like, and she's like, and your buddy Ken didn't take his shoes. Maybe off. Maybe I was, and I'm like, well, you know, Ken is aloof, and Jeff is just probably I don't. I don't subscribe to that theory. He was literally just coming here to pick us up and. If you asked me to take off my shoes, I would take off I'm my not shoes. Ask you but I'd probably that. never come over again. <laughs> we don't come over that often. I hate anyways. that confrontation. Don't no, you hate is. it when people like maybe you don't. Maybe I mean I, it seems like you're on your game on this. But I'm never on my game on this. I am aloof uh, like you say Ken is uh to this policy when entering places. And I Never even think to check. It's like a lot of people say, well, were they married? When they're talking about, you know, like a person that they met. And I'm like, well, how would you tell if they're married? And they're like, you look at to see if they're wearing a ring. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever hold the door for strangers? I never look to see for... Uh, I, Honestly, do you sometimes. ever... Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. See, you're self-centered. And it, I, mean, I don't mean that in a negative way. There's certain people in this world, and, and, and you've talked smack about other people in this building, and they happen to be very very thoughtful people. And I, I like to think that I'm one. I, I will hold the door for somebody. I will look at somebody's feet. If I go into their house, I will take off my shoes. I, this is just, this is just who I yeah, am. It doesn't I mean you're a bad person. It just means that's just not the first thing that comes across. No, cause I'm usually thinking of other things while I'm going through thinking, yeah, mundane things daily, that are personal to daily you. things that are like entering somebody's house. I'm always I'm afraid. not thinking about what's yeah. the, what should I do when I walk into this doorway? And I don't want to make it sound like I'm always afraid of offending people, but it is something that I want to make sure I don't offend people. And so even though I offend people quite often here with everything I say, but I, I try when it's I different. go to somebody else's home and I'm in their space to make sure that I'm doing everything right. I will never set a drink down unless I have a coaster. I will just hold it the entire time. My wife. Like certain things like that. You know how we want to do this drive through uh, uh, potato chip festival? festival? Yeah, we are doing it. My wife 
gets so mad at me at drive throughs You know what I do at drive throughs You and roll I, the window or, up. No, what I so rude. What I don't, what I don't do. It's what I don't do at drive throughs Say thank you. Yes. What? Yes. Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh, here you go. Thank you for coming to Carl's Jr. So I'll uh, say, I go, I, they like, what yeah. can we get you to order? And usually it's like Starbucks, right? Because that's the drive through we go through the most. And I'm like, uh, I got two drip coffees and uh, lemon cake. Okay, your total will be such and such. And um, I say, okay. And I pull forward, but I don't say thank you. And it drives What are you thanking him wife. for? Exactly. For me giving them money? Yeah, you don't need to thank him. Not a drive through I think you're okay. I think she's coffee? being a little eccentric there. Right? Then she berates me all the way up to the <laughs> up to the window for not saying thank you. So you know what I do when I get to the window? <laughs> Hurry I mean, up! No, <laughs> no. I, I make sure I am overly thankful oh. of their... I'm like, hi, how are you doing today? Yeah. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, then you're that guy. I just love your guys' coffee. You should... By you the should... way, I want to expressly tell you... Thank you for saving my afternoon with this great cup of joe that you've just given me. You know what you need to do? And my wife gets so mad. She's embarrassed, right? Yeah, well, she's you embarrassed. Could, you could take it one step further. If she's sitting next to you in the front seat and pull up to the window and, and thank them and everything and then say, hey, by the way, have you seen how beautiful my wife yes. looks today? You got to do that. Isn't she one fine piece of ass? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Now that, that's, that's on you. <laughs> have a great day. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.